Hey everybody, my name is Catherine and I'm with Raindrop Photography. This is my home studio and I thought I would show you how I set up for a twins newborn session. First, um, I'm just going to take my Fulcati that I use for typically my wrap shots as well as my parent shots at the end. So I'm just going to put it over here for now. And this is my bean bag. I made it by myself. Um, cost me about 30 bucks. I've had it for five years. Um, $30 to make the, the shell of it, whereas the inside was a little bit more money because it's styrofoam beads. Um, generally, underneath my blankets, I have this bowl. This is just something that I purchased at a store that we have in Canada called Winners or Home Sense. Um, it, it fits right on the bean bag, real good. And then this is just an old sock that I've filled with rice. Um, and I've double um, wrapped it. So I'm going to grab some filler blankets. So I'm gonna go and grab some fleece blankets, something that has a little bit more thickness to it. So I'm going to grab a couple here. The reason why you want your filler blankets to be thicker is because you want uh, you don't want the definition of the bowl. You want it to be a little less visible. So I'm just going to throw my filler blankets on there. And these are just material. Every time I go into the city, I generally stop at the fabric store if I have a chance and just grab things with texture and things that aren't shiny because the shine adds a lot of, um, it just doesn't show good quality. So the reason why I'm doing a lighter blanket on top it's because when I put my actual fabric that I want to photograph on top of it, it's neutral underneath. So the color's not going to show through. So the twins tomorrow are girls. And I think that I'm going to go to my favorite fabric, which is cream. Just hide my mess. So I am going to clip this to my PVC frame. My husband made the frame for me and basically it just helps reduce any type of wrinkles while you're doing the session. That um, helps so that you don't have as much post-processing to do. So I'm just going to grab the fabric, clip it to my frame. I'm going to grab one side and do I'm going to do all four corners first. It's a little bit tight for me to get into. I just have regular clamps that I get at Home Depot. They're about 10 bucks for a pack of like 15 or 20. So then I clamp these four, or one, two, three, four, and then I clamp right in the middle here. And then generally, we do one more here, and then one more here. Okay, so now you see the bowl is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sock right where I like to put the head. Okay, so it's going to be right there. And I'm going to push it so that it's nice and low. And I'm going to grab just some regular receiving blankets that I had left over from my kids. And I'm going to put them underneath my sock. And this is going to push up that sock. And then I'm going to put just a couple more for the butt. And so now, it's going to have a little bit more of an edge, or a little bit more height right here, 
and that's to support the head. Just remove the little part right there. Okay, and then when I'm doing the session, I'm just gonna push the edge of the bowl down, and that way it's not gonna show in the picture. And um, it's great to use a bowl because you can just move the bowl if you want the baby to be rotated a certain way. It's a lot easier for control. Okay, and then I'm just going to pick some wraps that I plan on using. I'm kind of doing a cream, purple, and pink theme tomorrow for the session. So I'm just gonna grab a few fabrics. These are just a jersey knit, they're stretchy. They don't have a lot of sheen to them, so I like that for my sessions. I'm just gonna throw those there. And then I like to have anything that has some texture. You know what's really great that I found at a uh, second-hand store was some little doilies and certain things. So I just like to have some texture thrown um, to the side. It's on. Hi. I'm back, and uh, I'm just going to show you. So we've set up the bean bag, and um, I just grabbed a few neutral headbands to go with um, the twins session tomorrow morning. Um, I've kind of decided on a couple different color schemes, so I'm going to do a cream, pink, and I'm also going to do uh, incorporate a purple as well. I like to keep things fairly neutral. I'm not a super bright, bold type of photographer. Um, so how I generally do my sessions is I do my posing on the bean bag, and then I do three different prop shots. So um, the easiest transition from the bean bag to a prop, I would have to say for my um, personal opinion would be a bowl. So this wooden bowl will definitely fit twins in it, especially preemie twins. And uh, I just got it at an antique store. I think I paid $30 for it. So um, I will put this over here and I'm gonna have it ready to go for my prop shots. I'm gonna grab some textured fabrics to put in there. So because I'm doing pink and cream, I'm just gonna grab some pink and cream wraps and I'm also going to grab some doilies and I'm also going to grab a cream textured wool layer. Okay. So I'm just going to loosely just put in my fabric. These are just different textures and different colors, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just gonna throw like a doily in here. If it shows, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And then this is just gonna go right here on the top. And then I'm going to have these bonnets set here ready to go for as soon as I have them ready for props. The next go-to would be another lay down prop so that you're not transitioning from their back to their stomach and then to their back. Um, and I would have to say that a box would be my next suggestion. So another something to build your textures and your layers. So I just have like a felted curly fur. Um, I'm gonna save that, but I'm gonna actually just stuff it with some, I'm just gonna grab a few blankets. So one thing that I've learned is that it's important to bulk the box up so that they're just a, just above the edge. You don't want them sunk in too deep because then there's too much shadow. So this is just a pillowcase from Ikea. Okay. And then I'm gonna add this on top. I'm gonna add some just old burlap. It's been washed and dried a bunch of times and it's just all 
Red Baron. And I'll have the, the burlap right below it. And then what I'll do is I will have the twins wrapped like a potato next to each other and then their heads will be up higher. So tomorrow when I do the session, then I will take some pictures and I'll show you how I do it. Also actually use some cream wraps to go with that. So like I said, I do like to keep things fairly neutral. So I will have two cream wraps that I like to use. They're just a stretch knit type fabric. And then I'll probably add just like a, a neutral headband to it. So that is also set to ready to go. And then my third, I had already had set up. I'll go into detail on another video with this one, but I special ordered this piece from HG Love. She um, did these two bonnets specifically for this session, so I'm super excited to use them. And uh, we're all set for tomorrow's session, so I can't wait to show you everything that happens. <laughs>